Hey, thanks for clicking the link. I'm Matt, and this is Outdoors for a Change. If you like outdoor cooking, specifically in a Dutch oven and chili, you're going to want to watch every second of this video. Our first uh, ingredient is bacon. I'm gonna cut it up and put it in there so uh, so it's a little more bite-sized. But if you haven't tried uh, bacon and chili, I highly recommend you do, it's delicious. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, cut this up now. All right, before we do anything else, I'm gonna crisp this bacon up so it's uh, ready uh, by the time we wanna eat it. Last thing we want is, well, soggy bacon in our chili. That's not a, that's not a, good, uh, that's not a good thing, trust me. It's uh, probably not bad for you because it'll still cook, but you want it a little crispy. It gives a little texture to your chili. So I'm gonna go ahead and crisp this up first and then uh, we'll get on to the next stage. All right, now that the bacon's uh, crisped up and ready to go, we're gonna put in two pounds of uh, hamburger. What hamburger you use, up to you. Uh, this is 73% lean. We're gonna drain the fat before we put everything else in. Uh, but that's up to you, and how much you put in is up to you too, depending on the size of your family. We're gonna be taking leftovers home to our family for dinner, and we have a lot of people still at home. So uh, this is going to be, uh, we're gonna put a little extra in. Mmm, they smell really good. So now that the meat's ready and drained, we're going to put in some cut vegetables. Here's onions and green peppers and uh, red peppers, and I should say white onions. Uh, we're gonna put these, uh, just dump them in. Next, we have seven ounces of uh, tomatoes. I'll dump these in. This is where uh, this recipe changes a little bit, probably what you're used to cooking. I'm gonna put in one can of, uh, which is 29 ounces of tomato sauce. You might not think that's enough uh, liquid for a chili, but we have, a, uh, we have another ingredient I'll show you in a little bit. But. All right, now for the secret ingredient. This is what's gonna give us more liquid in the chili. All right, now we'll just put the chili powder in. How much you put in, well, that's up to you. I like a lot. Now we put in a little bit of garlic. How much you put in again is up to you. Don't need much. All right, one of my favorite ingredients is uh, sharp cheddar cheese. This is about two cups worth. I recommend you put it in uh, when you're nearing uh, ready to uh, scoop everything up because the cheese just melts and uh, disintegrates and then what's fun is that. Let's mix it up.
Now the best part, the taste test. Got some bacon on top. Look at that. Mm. Perfect. Try some beans. Mm. I love Bell's beer in my chili. It is so delicious. It, I'm sure all the alcohol burns up. Now, how long you let it simmer, that's up to you. I said that a lot. Chili is a very personal meal. <sighs> this is simmered long enough for us. I got to get it home to the family. Plus, I'm starting to lose charcoal, and I don't want to have to uh, heat up some more charcoal to uh, just let it simmer longer. When I get it home, I'll let it simmer for another half hour or so. But it's ready to eat now. This is my, uh, I wouldn't say world famous, but it is my favorite chili recipe. I'm gonna enjoy the rest of this bowl, and I might even have seconds before I take it home to the kids. If you got anything from this video, you do me a favor, hit the like button. That would really help my young channel out. And if you consider subscribing, uh, that would be great too. I appreciate you. Thanks for watching this video all the way through. I would give you a bowl of chili to thank you, but I can't. So I'm just gonna eat it myself. I'm gonna go do that right now. Thanks for watching. <laughs>